Prince Harry was seated in the third row for the coronation of his father King Charles, while key members of the royal family took center stage. The Duke of Sussex arrived alone at Westminster Abbey, as wife Meghan Markle has stayed behind in the US with their children Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Harry has been sat next to Jack and Princess Alexandra, the cousin of the late Queen, who hasn't had a working royal engagement in a decade. The Duke of Sussex's view appeared to be partially blocked by Princess Anne, who wore a hat with a large red feather. It is believed that seating arrangements had been one of the sticking points that had caused a delay in Harry responding as to whether he would attend the historic event. And it had previously been claimed that up until recently, Harry still had no idea what the seating arrangements would be on the big day, but now we know he is back in the third row. The coronation marks the first time Harry has been in a public setting with his royal relatives since he criticized many of them in his memoir, Spare, which was published in January. The Duke of Sussex will not have any formal role at the coronation, Buckingham Palace has confirmed. Harry, who is no longer a working royal, will not perform any duties. He will also be absent from the procession behind the gold state coach carrying the newly crowned king and queen from Westminster Abbey back to Buckingham Palace after the ceremony. All eyes will be on Harry as he faces his relatives in public for the first time since he criticized Charles, Camilla and the Prince and Princess of Wales in his tell-all memoir Spare. Meghan will remain at home in California with their children, Archie and Lily, celebrating Archie's fourth birthday which falls on the same day. Harry has indicated he has enough material to fill another book, which is likely to make the royals wary of encountering him. He will make a quick exit, flying back to the US to mark Archie's birthday, and is expected to attend only the Abbey ceremony. Don't miss the latest news from around Scotland and beyond, sign up to our daily newsletter here.